So update, it is November 7, 2025 and Jefferson charts, Jefferson paper charts, they are going away. Just announced by Jefferson, I'll link to the, in the video description. So why should you even care? Well, I will say I care because I teach aircraft dispatch at Laterna University. Currently the FAA's Airman Certification Standards Actually, it's still practical test standards for aircraft dispatchers. Basically, say no using computers. So at Laterno, we are still using paper charts. Uh, I did place a huge order for high altitude and route charts from Jeppesen from the FAA. But, you know, here's a call to random people. If you want to mail me your old high altitude and route charts, I wouldn't turn them down. I would put them into good use for training up and coming aircraft dispatchers. But it also raises the question, when is the FAA going to allow more of a modern approach to training aircraft dispatchers where perhaps we could actually use programs on a computer to map out the flight plans? I understand wanting to be able to read Jeppesen charts and chart symbols. I love Jeppesen charts. I'm sad that they have to discontinue the Jeppesen paper charts, but... Also, it is extremely expensive to subscribe to like Jeppesen's flight planning. So what's the solution for aviation training environments for training aircraft dispatchers specifically, where some of the aircraft dispatch inspectors are really not allowing us to use electronic resources when doing flight plans for aircraft dispatchers? What do you think? Am I all crazy? You're going to mail me your Jeppesen charts because we'll put them to use, but stay sane. Don't dump all your paper. Send it my way. Have a great day from Aviation 101 with Laura. And check out my videos where I go over Jeppesen charts, especially the Jeppesen approach charts. Those are not going away. Those are still the same symbology. So have a great day.